Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> so what we're doing today is a 30 minute cardio ab boot camp. Ooh, we're gonna get working. We're gonna get that heart rate up. We're gonna work those abs, but I have some light weights to kind of add to that. I have my five and my 10 pound dumbbells, kind of a range just to add some little extra resistance or a little bit more. I also have my sweat towel and my drink. And then of course my great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your sweat towel, your drink, and your weights if you wanted them. And if so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with some of those step jacks. We're gonna get that bounce going. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna get moving and shaking. Gotta get that whole body warmed up for that cardio piece of it. We've got two more. Last one. And then we're gonna go into some butt kicks. Pull that all the way back. Get that quad kind of stretched out as you use those hamstrings to pull back. You're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades to open up that chest. We've got two more, last one. And then let's just glide. We're gonna glide to each side as we do a little bit of a punch. Yep, so we're getting that inner thigh and we're gonna add that punch to start activating that shoulder. Two more, last one. And this time we're gonna reach up and go diagonal to get those laterals a little bit more. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that heart rate up there a little bit too. Starting to pump that. Last one, and let's go cross again. This time, let's just add a little bit of drive into those hips. Twist and punch. Last one, and diagonal one more time. Oh yeah. Okay, and right here, we're just gonna trunk twist. Oh, you know that's one of my favorites. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna go over to the side. A little bit of those laterals, you know we're gonna be using those obliques. Last one, other side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go down and up into these windmills, starting to flex that hip and then glide those hamstrings, warming those babies up. Getting that trunk rotation in there too. Last one. And then let's open and close that chest. So we're gonna do supersets today. Okay, now we're gonna just throw those arms right up behind us. And we're gonna work for 30 seconds. We're only gonna have 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do three rounds. We're gonna just move and shake today. In and out, last one. And then we're gonna have our foot kind of straight, that knee straight, and we're just gonna lie down and just get those hamstrings a little bit more. Two more, last one, and then we gotta go to the other side. Moving through a quick warm up, just get ourselves ready and rolling. Last one. And then we're just gonna hinge down and back. <sighs> oh yeah. Two more. Last one. And then a couple of hip circles this way. Okay, so for the first activity we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna do a chest fly and a toe touch. Woo yeah. So kind of adding that complication and three the other direction. And then the other activity is we're gonna do two knee drives, two knee drives. So that's gonna be the cardio place piece. We're gonna go down. We're going to have, we're gonna go do a chest fly out and then we're gonna lift up and touch our toes. So I'm gonna grab my weight. We're gonna come on down. We're gonna do that chest fly. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. So we're gonna go out to the side. Then we're gonna reach up and touch those toes. Now. It's okay if you can't do much weight or you have to have your feet down when you do that chest fly, put them down, drive, and then reach for those toes. If you can't even do it with any weight, that's okay. You're still gonna have that gravity. You're gonna still have a nice good pull or maybe grabbing like a little water bottle where you just have a one pounder. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we're coming up. We're doing knee drives. Two to each side, right here. You ready? Three, two, one. Now you can add a hop in there, but you don't have to. So you're gonna pull down and cross that elbow to that opposite knee. Drive it and pull it. Pull and drive. Let's go. 30 second blast. And then we move to the next activity. Come on, keep it up. We're gonna go down and do that chest fly again. Right after this, five, 
four, three, two, one, rest. So grab that weight. Like I said, you can keep your feet down for the chest fly part and then lift them up for the toe touch. Here we go, three, two, one. Or you can keep it out, that's up to you. Just make sure you're not straining your back with that chest fly. Now, I know you not, may not be able to reach those toes, just get up high enough that you get those shoulder blades off the ground. Going out wide, squeeze it up. 10 more seconds. Keep breathing, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, like I said, we're moving and transitioning fast. Driving that elbow to that knee. Here we go, three, two, one. I know, fast transitions. We're moving quickly today. But we're gonna get in and out. It's just a 30 minute. Oh yeah, we're gonna get our whole body moving and shaking, burning those calories. Drive it. Come on, keep it up. 10 more seconds. Then we got one more of each of these. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one of these. Chest fly to the toe touch. Three, two, one. Chest fly and toe touch. Really asking some of your abs to control while you do that. Out wide positioning. Again, you can put your feet down for the chest fly or you can challenge it by putting your feet up. Halfway there. Those 30 seconds go pretty fast. Come on, you got this. Hang in there. Almost done with these. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish these out with the opposite knee drives. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. A water break after this. Two to each side. Drive and drive. Let's go. The next activity we're gonna do is we're gonna do a leg drop with the weight overhead. Again, you don't have to do the weight. Those are options. And then we're gonna do a, a knee drive with a cross next time for our cardio. Keep it up. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a knee drive and a cross. We'll stick with one side. The next round we'll do the other side and then we'll alternate on the last round. The other activity is you're going to do is you can have a weight, you can just have your arms up and you're gonna lay drop to one side to the other or you can do both at the same time. That's up to you. That's wherever you are in your journey. But let's get rolling. Here we go. Three, two, one. So you can lay drop one at a time or you can lay drop both of them. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna alternate each side and then do both. Now you wanna make sure you keep that back nice and stable against the mat. Don't let that arch up. If it's arching up or you have back discomfort, you need to drop, you need to shorten that range of how far you're dropping. Okay, just to the point where right before you arch. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna add my five pounds to the punches just to give myself a little bit more resistance. I'm gonna drive and cross. Here we go, three, two, one, drive and cross. Boom, down and cross. You got this, come on. Same side, we'll do the opposite side next time. You do not have to do this with weight. Come on, keep that heart rate up there. Drive and cross. Remember, you're driving those hips when you cross. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, back to those leg drops. <sighs> yes, working those lower abdominals. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Leg drop down. Single or both. Now, even if that starts to bother you, like I said, you don't have to have a weight. You can put the weight down and just have your arms overhead or even put your arms down if you need to. Again, adjust accordingly. Make it challenging, but no back discomfort. No back arching, keep that stable. 
four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, okay, we got the other side. Knee drive and cross. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one, cross. Knee drive and cross. Boom and boom. Add some oomph behind it or add the weights like I did. Something to keep that up there. That oomph behind it. Drive with those hips across. Use that whole body to cross. Come on, keep it up. 10 more seconds. We'll alternate on the last round. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's finish with these leg drops. Woo. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, okay, trying to keep my shoulder blades up off the ground, keeping my abs activated, my rectus abdominis, using my lower abdominals. Then drop those legs. Keep it up, halfway there. We'll finish out with those punches and crosses after this. Alternating sides. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Love that word. Okay, <laughs> let's finish out. We're alternating sides. Whew. Here we go, three, two, one. Down, cross, down, other side. Drive it and cross it. Drive it and cross it. Keep it up, halfway there. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I keep moving my mat everywhere around. Moving and shaking with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back and lunge and punch. You're gonna step back, lunge, and punch it out. With or without the hop, that's up to you. We're gonna go down and do scissor kicks across. We're gonna just do crossing right here. Now, how high you do it depends on where you are with your ab strength. Let's get in position, here we go. Three, two, one. I told you, we're moving and shaking pretty fast today. Not a lot of equipment, so we can transition a little bit faster. Keeps our heart rate up there. Now go low as you can, but don't let that back arch. Now you might be a little more tired. Like if we'd started with this, you could maybe go lower, but because we've been working those abs, we may be a little more fatigued. But listen to your body. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing that step back lunge with that punch. Here we go. Three, two, one. Step back and punch. Add the hop if you want to. Whoop. Going all over the place. My mat's going, what are you doing? Step back. Come on. I'm right there with you. Step back and punch. It's just a way to keep that heart rate up there when we use those arms and those legs as fast as you can. You don't have to hop, but I want you moving fast. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing those scissor kicks next. Oh yeah. Kicking across. Three, two, one, crossing over. Using those hip abduction and adduction. Okay, and we're crossing over. I'm keeping my feet flexed, my knees straight. Again, how high you come is the amount of ability you can with those, the lower it goes, the harder. <laughs> Keep it up, come on. Woo, 10 more seconds. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, we're back up to those lunge punches. And here we go, three, two, one. Whoop. I'm tripping over myself this morning. Whew. Lunge and punch. Whew. Stepping back and punching with the opposite side that you step back. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, keep it moving. Add that hop if you wanna add a little bit more oomph. You can do it, come on. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got one more of each of these. Woo. Oh yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, over and rest. Cross in and over. Our next um, ab activity will be a Russian twist. So kind of something maybe you know. 15 more seconds, with or without a weight. Cross it over, come on. 10 more seconds, hang in there, stay strong. All the way to the buzzer. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're finishing out with these punches with the lunge. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. You know how I get excited when I get to do some punching or kicking. <laughs> Love me some of the kickbox stuff. Keep it up, keep it up. Boom. It doesn't have to be a big step back, it's just keeping you moving. 15 more seconds, we're halfway there. We're gonna do some punching on our next one too with some jacks. Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, our cardio piece. We're gonna punch out at the jack, punch up, uppercut, uppercut, out, out, uppercut, uppercut. With or with, I'm gonna add my little weights with that. If you don't wanna hop, punch in right here, okay? So step in as you punch. Okay, we're gonna go down with that Russian twist, sitting on that sit bone taking that weight and rotating to each side. If you don't wanna use the weight, just touch your hands either side. Here we go, three, two, one. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, lift those feet up, cross them over. Oh, now you don't have that stability there. Asking a lot more of those abs. So I have a little lighter weight than sometimes I do on a Russian twist, so I just open up my, drop my feet up, pull them up to add a little extra just excitement and challenge. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're doing those jacks with the punching up, out, and then up, and then two uppercuts. Oh yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Out, up, uppercut, uppercut. Now you can do steps or hops. I mainly want you to move the whole time, that's the goal. Even if it's all it is, it's just the stepping. Keep it up, you're moving. You're keeping your heart rate and you're challenging yourself. That's what I need, 10 more seconds. Boom, boom. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to that Russian twist. Woo. Are you ready? Here we go, three. Two, one, touching each side, really giving me a good rotation all the way across. Touch that floor and twist. Even if you don't have a weight, you're touching each side with those hands. Give me that full range. Each side, come on. Ten more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Okay, we're coming up to those jacks with the punches and the uppercut. Like I said, we're moving and shaking. Here we go. Three, two, one. Out and up. Uppercut, uppercut. Stepping or hopping. You're moving the whole time. That's what I care about. Oh yeah, drive it and drive it. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more of each of these. Oh yeah. Okay, last one of the Russian twists. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Stay challenging all the way, the whole buzzer. Okay, don't shortchange yourself. Keep it moving. Keep yourself challenged. That's how we get better. I never said it was gonna be easy. It's not easy for me. I keep myself challenged. That's how I'm gonna get better. Halfway there. Stay strong. Oh yeah. Working and working. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one of these jack punches. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, out, and up, uppercut, uppercut. Boom, 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 oh yeah. Keep it up, let's do it, let's do it. We got halfway there. Drive it and drive it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, hop over, hop over, and squat. Now, if you don't wanna hop, you're gonna squat, side step, side step, and squat. Okay, so you don't have to hop. So that's what we're gonna do for the cardio piece. We're gonna come down, we're gonna cross one knee over, we're gonna come up and rotate that elbow to that knee, and back down. We'll stick with one side the first round, the other side, and then we'll half and half it. Here we go, three, two, one, up and rotate and back down. Okay, so you've gotta get that shoulder blade up off the ground and then back down. Drive it over and come back down. Come on, you're reaching, you're crunching and you're driving it over to that knee. Just giving yourself that visual. We'll do the other side next round. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna go side to side with a hop or a step. Here we go, three, two, one. Squat down, and we're gonna hop and hop and squat, and hop and hop and squat, or you're gonna step and you're gonna step and come back up. Squat and step and step. I'm at the squat. <laughs> Keep it up, let's squat and hop to each side, and squat, come on, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now I gotta cross that other foot over. We're gonna come up and crunch that other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, we're coming up and lifting the cross. Crunch it up and cross. Oh, baby. Lift and crunch, come on. You got this, come on, 15 more seconds. Hang in there, drive it over. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, squat and hop to the side. Three, two, one. Squat down and hop or step. Just keep your body moving that whole time. Use those arms to help, help drive that heart rate up a little bit more. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna keep our feet down on the ground. We're just gonna reach up towards that knee and back down and then the other side. Woo, alternate sides. Three, two, one. Here we go, up and over and down. So making sure you get that shoulder blade off the ground as you reach and rotate. That's your goal. Your elbow's going towards that opposite knee as you get that shoulder blade up off the ground. Halfway there. And then we'll finish out with that squat and lateral lunge hops. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the good news is this is the last one, and then we only have one more superset after this. Oh, we're starting to see that end. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. Sometimes that gives us a little bit more energy to empty that tank at the end. We're gonna be on the ground for the, all, the whole superset. 15 more seconds, come on. Nice work. Woo. Here we go, five, four, 
three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I am gonna use my light weight for one of the activities. The first activity we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda of do those mermaid crunches. So our feet are together. Okay, so we're gonna drive those knees in, and then we're gonna rotate to the other side and drive them in. The first side, we're just gonna do one side the first time. The second time, we'll do this, and then we'll alternate rolling back and forth. The other activity is we're gonna be in that boat position, and we're just gonna punch crosses right here, getting our heart rate up and working those abs. So here we go. Mermaids, three, two, one. Drive them in and crunch. Now, if it's too hard, you're just gonna do one side and crunch right here. Drive those knees in or that knee, wherever you're at. You're getting those obliques. You're also getting those lower abdominals and that rectus by moving in that motion. We'll do the other side after this. Or I should say next round. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're sitting there and we're gonna punch right here, cross, with or without a weight. That's up to you. Here we go, three, two, one. So in that boat position and we're crossing. Oh yeah, that extra heart rate up there. And we're crunching in that position. Ooh, we're gonna abs both ways. This is gonna be a nice good finish, isn't it? <laughs> We've got 10 more seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, oh yeah. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got a mermaid on the other side. Catch that breath, but here we go. Three, two, one, we're crunching in and out. Okay, driving those hips all the way up and crunch. Like I said, you can just do one leg if that's where you're at. I love it that you're working hard. 15 more seconds, come on. We'll alternate and roll to each side for our last round. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time we're gonna punch right up to the sky, right here, as fast as you can. Here we go, three, two, one. Punch, punch up. Get that heart rate up there. Punch it up. Hold that position. Work in the abs, come on. Punch it up to the sky. <laughs> you got this, come on, 15 more seconds. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, woo, I got my shoulders going. Okay, so we're kind of re resting on each hip and then rolling over. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Good news, last one of these. Oh, we're on our last set. Almost done. Crunching that in and then rolling. Halfway there, dry those knees. Come on, you got this. Stay strong all the way to the buzzer. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rush. Okay, the last one we're gonna do, we're gonna go cross, cross, up, up, cross, cross, up, up, and finish strong. This is it, empty that tank, baby. Three, two, one, cross, cross, up, up. How fast can you go? Keep that heart rate up there. Finish strong, empty that tank for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got 15 more seconds. You got it, come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Come on, into that quadruped. We're gonna go down into that nice, good child's pose, stretching out that low back. Opening up that chest with those shoulders. Then we're gonna come up, we're gonna drop those hips. Look on up. And then come on down into downward dog. Press those heels down. Step in with your right, drop that knee and go on right on over that knee and get that hip flexor in those laterals. Work those out. Grab that foot. 
Stretch that out. Straighten that front knee. Get that hamstring. And then let's step through with the other side. Down and stepping right on over. Getting that hip flexor on that other side. Then grabbing that foot and grabbing that, getting that quad stretched out. Oh, that feels so good. And then we're straightening that front knee. And then we're coming down into downward dog. Press that down, press those heels down. Come walk that up slowly. Walk it all the way up and give yourself a high five for rocking that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and give me a shout out. Also, if you wanna join my Facebook group, that link's also below. And have a great day.